welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome once again to the sit down book videos that it's been a while that i haven't recorded anything just sitting here and talking about books i know i know it's been a while i know i'm sure you have all missed them just sitting here and chatting a little bit about the books i'm reading the books i want to read and stuff like that and we actually have A book card uh ignore this part this is the books that i am actually reading or like books that i started and i am in theory reading um i'm not reading this until october i'm sure of that um i just read the secret history every october i don't know i just get in the dark academia mood and that's the only time and even the dark academia mood and down here ignore it i also have like a couple of things that i use for like my animations in the videos and then my makeup so yeah Mostly this is my TBR shelf and I am not gonna lie, I haven't had a TBR in so long so I haven't thought about what to put here We're going to come to that decision together So, uh, what happened last year, mostly as an explanation for like the people who haven't watched all the vlogs or like, at least they haven't watched the update is that I've been on Erasmus, I've been traveling through Europe but I've been mostly living in Ireland for the last year and I didn't have time to record videos for the youtube channel i did record vlogs you all saw like a couple of vlogs here and there that i'm sure you enjoyed so much but yeah i didn't have time to record to the amount that i was used to because i actually was like traveling and doing stuff and then i had my classes to attend to and then like it's like the erasmus year so i for me it was like there's no way i'm going to be at home like i'm not going to be at home at all i'm going to be partying i'm going to be going out with friends, I'm going to be traveling to other countries or like even inside Ireland, traveling to like other counties and stuff like that. So uh, I didn't actually read that much, I didn't actually read, I didn't end up doing TBRs or any of that kind. But now that we're back, we will hopefully get a little bit more into it. And I am excited to do this TBR. I'm excited because it's like going back to our routine kind of, because I actually miss recording some of the videos. So I don't have like a clear decision of what I want to do with each of these books. So we'll see. Maybe I will add more. I don't know. I have it clear that like we are not going to do more than this shelf. So like whatever fits in this shelf, that's it. The back is empty. So I will count also the back. But to be fair, I'm the kind of person that like if I don't see it, I'm going to forget about it. So I don't know how many books I will actually want to put in the back of this. So I'm going to take out all of the books that are here right now because to be fair, like some of them are going to come back, but I have to look at all my options. So empty shelf and now let's start building from here. Uh, the first thing is that I do have to add this book. This is The Buried Giant by Kazuo Isiguro. And the thing is that I actually failed a subject while on Erasmus, so I have to redo that subject. And for that, I need to read this book. I'm going to add it here. Because like, this is like, for me, this is like the closest to my bed. So it's going to be like the most important one, I guess. Then I think I should read this because I'm, to be fair, like now coming back home and everything, I am having a hard time adapting. And I feel like a little bit of like, I don't know, like self-help kind of book will be a little bit like therapy not saying that like therapy is actually replaced by safe self-help books like not in, not at all but i feel like i i need a little bit of something i need a little bit of like because i don't even understand my own feelings so we'll see if these will actually change the way i think now we just have to feel the rest first of all i don't want to do a reread of my favorite series ever because in yeah. Wait, this is not the best idea. <laughs> okay, <laughs> because uh, during the last year, one of the last book of this series came out, or not the last book, but like right now, um, there are rumors going around that Chloe Walsh actually started hating this series. So no one knows what it's actually going to happen. But yeah, this is the Boys of Tommen series. I have the original paperbacks, the self-published one. I also have the first book in the new edition but i'm just going to go for this one here because it's easier to just grab all of them at the same time 
So the thing is that uh, the last book, Taming 7, has come out this last year in April, which it was like really close to my birthday and I got it as a birthday present and I still haven't read it because I've, I've been in a major, major, major book reading slump lately. So I feel like this, rereading re all of these and then reading this might help. But also I know that this book doesn't have like the best reviews, so I don't know about it. What I was saying was that like there have been rumors going around that Chloe Walsh actually started hating this series in the last year. Which like I kind of understand, but also like I don't understand how you can hate these characters because uh, they are my favorite characters ever. Excluded the Addicted series. Hopefully I'll read these and it will be as great as the rest of the books were to me. But I don't know, I just... I've been in a dry spell when, when it comes to 5 star reads. I haven't had a 5 star read I think in 2 years. Which I feel like to an extent it's me self-sabotaging and reading trashy books. Like trashy. I mean I don't want to call any book trashy but books that I know I'm not actually going to love 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 just for the sake of reading something fast and not actually like putting my time onto reading and getting into a found family or a character world. So like Literally, I think that Keeping 13 was my last 5 star read, which, if you don't know, I think I read that in June or July of 2022. We're in 2024. Yeah, um, if you have any recommendations similar to The Voice of Tommen and the Red Click series, just drop them down in the comment section, because clearly your girl needs help. So I'm going to just put all of them in here. I hope they'll fit. Then another book series that I do want to read just to like get again into the grind of like the five star read is the um, Addicted series because if you don't know the Addicted series is one of my favorite series ever but I haven't read these two books neither have I read the bad reputation of it I have to figure out what order to read them at and then like read those things so hopefully like these two and the Ad bad reputation duet will be in my TBR I'll read them this month. What happened with this series is that I'm stupid and I self-sabotage a lot. So when I love something and it's about to end, I just don't read it or don't watch it. For the people who love Teen Wolf, they will understand me. I never watched the last season. Or maybe that you don't understand me, I'm just stupid. But I used to love Teen Wolf, the TV show, and I never watched the last season because I didn't want it to end. So I've literally watched all seasons, even like the first part of the sixth season, uh, but I've never watched the last part. I think I've been traumatized since The Vampire Diaries ended. And I will probably keep being traumatized for the rest of my life. I'm just hoping that I decide to stop self-sabotaging and actually read these two books. Because I know they are going to be great. Like these ones, I don't even know why I haven't read them. I wouldn't say there is a logical answer to that. I would say just that I'm stupid. And then this leaves me to one more book. But it's actually going to be two books. Because I've been thinking about doing a video vlog where I'm reading some Sarah J Maas books. I'll probably just read two. Because last year I started recording and I never ended up finishing it. A vlog where I was reading A Court of Thorns and Roses. And I actually didn't like it. Don't come at me. It's not my fault. I mean, probably is, but like, it just, the book wasn't for me. I felt like it was mediocre. I felt like it didn't even have anything special. I actually started it and it put me into a reading slump, so I didn't finish it until quite a lot later. But yeah, so the thing is, I never actually finished that book. No, I did finish that book. I finished that book in November of last year and I don't have much to say about it. Just what I said. But I feel like the author, like everyone thinks that the author is so great, so at this point, I think I'm going to like give it another chance, the same way I did with the Addicted series. Like At first it felt painful, I was reading one book of the Addicted series a month and I was not loving them and then here we are. So I am going to try again and my objective is to read the second one. Is it A Court of What? A Court of... A Court of What? A Court of Mist and Fury? Maybe? Anyway, that one and the Throne of Glass first book, maybe. I think I would be able to read this one, just... I feel like this is like a completely different world and maybe I will be able to read this one better than the other one. But I don't know to what extent, like, there can be spoilers, which I know this one was written before the other one, so it should be okay. But uh, anyway, this is going here. So that's one side, and then I, wa I do want to put some books on the other side because I feel like this is not enough books. Ignore this thing. It's 
hard sell. Okay, and then on this side, I think I'm going to put something different and fast and things that are not related to everything that it's on the front. So I'm going to put Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. I actually received this book as a present in a secret Santa that I did with my friends, but for some reason we did it in May. This was actually my secret Santa. Uh, you will get that in one of the vlogs that will be, one of the reading vlogs that will be posted soon. But yeah, I received this as my secret Santa and then I received these as my birthday present from my brothers. They bought me this book and I like I don't know anything about it. I just know that that it is like a romantic book written for romantic readers. Am I a romantic reader? I wouldn't say so. I read Shadow Hunters, I read The Cruel Prince, I've read some stuff. I just I feel like I don't usually itch for fantasy or romantic at all. I just like I feel like when I am itching to read something, it's usually romance without the fantasy aspect but also i do love romance histories with deeper stuff deeper subplots and meanings and yeah so i'm just going to put it in there hopefully i don't forget about it and if i do we'll probably empty this shelf again next month then in case i itch for something more classic i have uh, mrs dalloway and i got this recommendation or like i got this book in i think one of the last blogs i posted of the one thrifting in ghent and i got it because mila sims she recommended this book and to be fair like i do like classics when i read them for school just i never feel like they are amazing and she actually loved this book this was one of her favorite books of all time. It wasn't even like in a classics recommendation or anything. It was just one of her favorite books. So I think I'm going to give it a chance. And it cost me one euro when I bought it. So I think I got a pretty good deal. Imagine that ends up being my next five star read. That would actually be crazy. I think I'm just going to add these in here too. I don't know why. But maybe because I bought it so long ago and I haven't read it yet. Or like, my boyfriend got it for me actually, but um, yeah, also because it's one of the books that people love, so I'm just going to put it there. Then I got this for my birthday. Also, people love this book. I'm going to put it here. I'm not really in the mood to read this one though, so it will just probably stay there. And I'm going to take out of the card and not put back the three Emily Henry books that I have. I feel like they are so summery, and right now I'm not feeling like something summery that much. I feel like sometimes I am feeling super summery, and I really want to read summery stuff, but after reading just for the summer which it didn't hit the same for me it didn't hit that hard or like as hard as it did for other people i feel like i'm not in the mood to read anything summery and then i got out but they are not going to make it into my tbr which to be fair it doesn't mean that i'm not going to read it i'm just warning you this is what i want to read what i feel right now that i want to read by the time the 15th 16th of august comes along i cannot promise you anything because i'm a mood reader and i am also super inconsistent when it comes to kind of everything in my life so yeah this is just books that i think i want to read right now and that i think that i will want to read or that i think are good and i want to read but this is by no means a definitive tbr if i end up doing an august wrap up these are not necessarily the books that you will find there so yeah so these ones i might read i might not read but they are the hunger games i have uh these editions of the hunger games because i got them on vintage second hand and they were super cheap i got them for like five euros so that's nice <laughs> I actually never read The Hunger Games. I don't know. I watched the first movie and I never watched the second or the third. So I feel like I am kind of fine with that because I don't have anything of this spoiled. So I just feel like I'm missing out on something. I don't know if it's my FOMO or what happened. I, yeah, I feel I'm feeling like I'm not super talkative today maybe but um to be fair that's editing may's problem because she will have to go through all this footage of me just saying random stuff and be like why the hell did i plan that and i'll be like i don't know girl your problem so the last two books that i took out but i don't think are going to go on my tbr right now at this time are daisy hates and mcdonald park the, um, the long way home uh i started reading this one a while ago yeah i'm in chapter six actually of this book but and i actually own all the books that are out on the series so i have to read them but also i'm not in the mood for it right now and they don't fit in my card so i'm going to focus on those i did like magnolia parks the first book i just didn't love it but i know that some people prefer 
daisy heads over magnolia park so i'm going to keep giving it a chance but yeah for now they are not making it in my tbr i'm just going to leave them here i mean i'm not going to leave them here i'm obviously going to put them back on my shelf but i need to take a, the thumbnail picture so for now they're going to be here so this was it for today's video if you like this video you may consider subscribing because for you some and for me it will make my day and if you want to see more um i don't know videos sit down videos wrap-ups tbrs recommendations anything you can just comment it down below and i will check the comments i actually check all the comments i just sometimes i don't respond because i get anxious about it but yeah you can just comment it down below and i will see what i can do and i hope to see you soon bye